Hey, it's your reigning supreme, the doll queen. Welcome back to my channel. And so today, um, finally, we're reviewing dolls again. Um, I was able to find Slim and Style Ruby at Walmart, and I decided to also pick up Slim and Style Violet. Um, I wanted to not like the reboot dolls, but... What can I say? Are they as great as they used to be? No. But they're still really good dolls. Um, so yeah, I decided to pick up these two. I love budget dolls. Um, for some reason, I literally, I don't know why, but like budget dolls I love and beach dolls I love. I, I, I couldn't tell you why. It just, it just scratches a little part of my brain that I, um, that no other doll can fill. Uh, so, of course, budget, beach line, you got me. Uh, and, yeah, these were the two best ones. They I saw all four at um, my Walmart, and they had plenty of each. Um, they retail for $14.99, which is amazing uh, for all that you're getting here. Uh, and compared to, like, Monster High, three more dollars, and you get, you don't get the inset I, you don't get the inside eyes or rooted lashes, but they, uh, but Monster High does give you the articulation and, um, yeah, I guess the articulation is the big comparison here between the two. So, yeah, I don't know. I think Monster High budget dolls are still more worth it than these because they actually have, like, kind of a full outfit, uh, which I guess these are kind of a full outfit. Like, if we compare Scared Ice to this one... Um, these are cheaper than Scared Ice because they have less articulation, but they do have the inset eyes. I don't know. There's pros and cons to both. Uh, they do have windows on the top with the gems and shit that we saw in the deluxe dolls. Um, there's Ruby and Violet's artwork. And if you do not know, in the, in this artwork, their faces are actually the fantastic fashion faces. They didn't bother to do any new, like, draw in their actual makeup. Don't know why that is. On the top, we have Ruby and Violet in their little signature hearts and all. Uh, ten ways to style. Purple right here, red right here. Um, the rainbow that continues all the way to this side. Which, we're still missing the pink and the orange in the rainbow being Bella and Poppy. But, because since we saw Poppy's, like, look in the teaser trailer for her slime doll, I'm sure Bella and Poppy will come soon. Um, and then on this side, we have Ruby Anderson, Violet Willow, Blown Up, which, again, I really like. Um, and then on the back, we can see um, the rest of the line. And it says, fun under the sun, accessory style and play any way you want. Okay. Um, so, Sunny is an interesting choice. I didn't like what they did with her hair, and I didn't like what they did with her eyeshadow. I appreciate them experimenting, because they gave her green right here and then like pink and a little bit of purple right here just really out there colors for uh this whole look but i appreciate them stepping out of their comfort zone a bit um but her uh, her like swimsuit's cute though uh so i will not be getting sunny because the base doll is not cute and then skylar her base doll is fine fine you know, basic as Skylar can be. Um, but that swimsuit is, like, printed on denim. No. They, um, they massacred this look. So, we'll be skipping those two. There's Violet's barcode. And there's Ruby's barcode. And I'm sure that these will appear at Target soon. Because they're already on Target.com. So, by the time this comes out, they'll probably be at Target um, so let's go ahead and unbox these bitches. All right, so it is the next day. I'm not even going to try and pretend, but um, let us take a look at Ruby first. Because Ruby, um, she has the better news. So she is really pretty, really stunning, but she has like rock hard hair. Like, you see that? There was no need. Um, but from the little bit of hair that I can feel, like from right here, it is um, the typical Kiwi nylon. So, good for her. She was able to keep her Kiwi nylon. 
like literally same as the stuff. Um, yeah, and then her hair is pulled up into a half up, half down with these two parts right there. Um, pretty cute, actually. And it's pretty curly for Rainbow High standards. Um, and then her face up is stunning. She has thinner eyebrows. And then she has a lot of glitter in her makeup. She has some on her brow bone. And then she has, like, smoked out red with a line of gold glitter. And then uh, her juicy red lips, which I love juicy red lips on Ruby. Um, super cute face up. I think the strongest part of this, like, reboot is really, really good faces. Like, really good faces. Um... I mean, she does have a little bit of, like, orangish blush. It's really cute. Um, and then when we move on to her swimsuit, it's just a, like, one piece, but it's one one shoulder. Uh, or off the shoulder. That's the look. <laughs> look, it's the morning. Bitch is tired. Or not tired, but I'm getting used to it. And then there's a bunch of golden RH symbols all over the front, at least. Okay, cool. So it continues all the way to the back. Thank you, MGA. Um, and then that's what her bod looks like. She just has the basic five points. So she has full rotation right there. Ball joint at the shoulder. And a... That's interesting. Ooh. So there we go. So she can kick out. I was like, no way that they didn't. She just needs a little help. But she does have the typical joint at the hip. It's just really tight right now. And there we go. And then we can look at all her junk. So uh, she came with this bag right here that says Rainbow High on it. And it has a little bit of bamboo right here. Was stuff in there, so that's pretty cute. And then, uh, her shoes are, I believe, yeah, these are like Brianna's sculpt that we've seen before, but they're just in translucent red with RH symbols on them. And then these are her sunglasses. These are pretty cool. I love that we got new sculpts for the sunglasses because. Um, we kind of needed them so they're like very sleek and they have our h symbols right there and the lenses go far yeah these are cool um and then we have this piece of fabric right here which is like the gimmick because this is supposed to be like anything you want because there's a like a bunch of different ways that you can tie it around her or you could use it as a towel but it's not that big of a towel um, but it's red and it has a golden foil on it, so it has no stretch this way, but it has stretch this way. And that's the back, so you can just use the red side if you want. Um, and then it came with uh, directions, so each girl has, like, their own signature wraparound look, so you can see Violet... Uh, and then there's Ruby, and then there's Sunny and Skylar, and then there's, like, others that you can do. So, I think I'm gonna try all of them, um, on probably Violet, because Ruby has a hairstyle. I don't know. I'll decide. Um, I can at least put her shoes on. Oops, the wrong... Oh, my God. All right, there she is with her shoes on. Yeah, she doesn't like to stand on her own, unfortunately. Which is fine. But, yeah, cute. Um, I can at least put her, her wrap on in her specific style, so... I'll be back. All right, there we go. So that's her whole look which 
It's pretty cute. Um, I'd say Ruby is probably the strongest from the line thus far for um, various reasons. Because she has a decent swimsuit, cool sunglasses, other cool stuff. Okay, that's weird. See, they put a large thing right there, so it pops out of her face. But they do look cool on her. But yeah, I'd say she's probably the strongest because she also has the nylon hair as well. And just a solid look. All right. Now let's take a look at Miss Violet. Come on, girl. So here is Miss Bye Bye. I don't know why I said it like that, but there she is. Um, so we're going to start off with the elephant in the room. She has Polly. I never thought that we would ever see the day that MGA uses polypropylene again, or polypropylene. I was taught how to say it by a chemical engineer, and I'm embarrassed. But yeah, so, um, it is polypropylene, and... It is fine. It's a higher grade of poly. It doesn't feel as bad as, let's say, like, um, uh, Skultimate Secrets. Like, all of them. Most of the Skultimate Secrets doll. It seems like it feels similar to this Frankie, which is a Neon Frights Frankie. Like, Neon Frights Frankie and Jackie Laura got really soft poly hair for some reason. Like, I don't mind this at all because it's really soft. And it acts, uh, like, it behaves similarly to, like, a nylon. So, it does poke out a little bit. But if you leave it down, it look, it still, like, works pretty well. Um, look how good Frankie looks in yellow. Like, Monster Fest could have taking a hint but whatever um so yeah this poly though feels a lot nicer and softer than violets or at least softer and i don't know more hair like so if this frankie has better poly than this that's embarrassing um i will be washing um this violet though so hopefully the conditioner can help because this is not the best. Um, but anyways, her hair blend is the same as usual. They just made it in poly. Um, and then also we have this like lavender color that they rooted most of her head with, which is an interesting choice because typically um, when they have like a hair blend for violet, they root the entire head with these three colors, but not this time. Um, and then what they did for her hairstyle is they pulled these two strands back, so it looks like it's tucked behind her ears, which is cute, but in her artwork, she had, like, a high ponytail, and it was also really cute, but I don't know. We'll see if she can pull a high ponytail with Polly. I'll try my best. Um, and then face up, she is one of the prettiest violets, um, Slime Violet and, uh, Winter Rake Violet are also some of the prettiest violets in Costume Ball. Yeah, because we've had a lot of violets. But this is definitely one of the best face cards that we've gotten from Rainbow High, period. Like, she has the new eyebrow shape for her, which is, like, thicker right here, and then it, like, slims out, and it's arched. It's really pretty eyebrow shape. This is my new favorite. Um, it's so gorge. And then she has, like, um lilac makeup airbrushed right there with a little like white line going right like that it's similar to some winter break makeup uh and then she has a like peachy nude lip and it just looks so good on her like i'm gonna be completely honest the face sold me um and then when it comes to her outfit she has probably my favorite swimsuit because it's not really a one piece, but it like technically is. Um, because we have like this uh 
lavender top right here. And then we have this light lilac color band right here that's tied. And then we have these like uh, violet or like purple bottoms. Yeah, so looks pretty cute, but I wish there was like some sort of graphic on here. Like there's no graphic whatsoever, but I guess the little tie right here is good enough. Um, but it's like sewn, it's only sewn on the side right here which is an interesting choice, but yeah, it's only sewn on that side right there. So it's like technically one piece, but it's like supposed to look like a two piece and Violet would totally rock a two piece. Um, and then when it comes to her shoes, they are similar to um, Pinkly Pages, but slightly different, but they're just glittery translucent lilac uh, strappy heels that have an R and an H right here. Uh, a really interesting choice, considering that she's supposed to be at the beach. But who who am I to judge? If she wants to fall down, she can fall down. And then they go on. Like, this isn't as rubbery as Rainbow High shoes normally are. So, yeah, they, these were... A, are a little more difficult to put on but they look really cute i love the high platform um and then overall it is a pretty cute look so now we can see what she comes with um so and her hair is also shedding like crazy which not fun not fun um her bag is like see more violet hair fuck you bitch um so we have this little like wicker bag, which is very beach. Uh, and then it has a little rainbow graphic right there. And then you can put shit in there. So yeah, I do like this purse. It's nice, good beach bag. Um, and then her sunglasses are my favorite sculpt of sunglasses ever from Rainbow High, uh, which are these very large square sunglasses that look very Sharpe. Yes, I love, I love Sharpay. So, of course, I love these so much. This is another reason, like, her face card and these sold me. Because, uh, like, look at them. They're everything. I love these sunglasses. Uh, and then her piece of fabric is uh, straight up purple with a silver reflex in it. And then you can see the color right there. So now I will try and tie it the way that I'm supposed to for her. But we'll see how well that goes. So there we go. It's fine. It's not the prettiest, but they didn't give us, like, the fabric is straight up not long enough. So I could not tie it in the back. I tried my best, but yeah, it just, it wasn't working. So... That's a fail on MGA's part. So yeah, that is Miss Violet. That's what the sunglasses look like on, but yeah, I love these. But they look best in the hair. Like, ugh, love, 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 love. Um, all right, so now let's do all the different styles, and we're gonna do it with Ruby because Violet's Polly was getting really annoying. Um, so yeah, let's, we did Violet and Ruby's. So now let's do Skylar's look, which isn't much different from this. That's Skylar's look, which isn't bad. I think it might be my favorite so far. Yeah, but let's try Sunny's now. There's Sunny's, which doesn't really look that good. All right, let's try the next style. This one also doesn't really look good. What even is this? No joke, they advertised a cape. Then you can get a neck scarf thing, which isn't bad if it was smaller piece of fabric, but just kind of swallows her whole. 
And they advertise going around the head, which I think would be cute, but it's just, again, not long enough. So that doesn't actually work. Um, and then the last, the last one. one was just a little tie on the bag, which actually isn't bad if I styled it a little better with the fabric, but yeah. Those are all of the different styles that they advertised. And um, the only times it looked good was when it was wrapping around her waist. But yeah, that is Ruby and Violet Swim in Style. I think for the $15 price point, they are very much worth it because of how like sturdy they are. Um, I'd say Ruby's the best because she actually has good hair. Well, for whatever reason, they plagued her with Polly, even though that she has nylon. So, don't know what that's about. My guess is that since she has straight hair, they're like, let's just do Polly. And then, you know, you can't do curly hair with Polly. So, they're like, we'll just give her nylon. Which, why not give everyone nylon? I don't know. But, that's it. From your reigning supreme, I grant you on Folklorious Fantabulous Day. Toodles.